Hello. As we come upon the celebration of Memorial Day, it's an opportunity to, to think of those loved ones that we have lost, who have died. We think of our military, but we also think of those within our own family. It's powerful and beautiful to come to a cemetery to pray for our loved ones who have died. It really is an opportunity to, to lift them up in prayer, to be united with them, because we believe in the resurrection. The resurrection means that we still continue to live on. Our souls are, are given over to God in a, in a special way. So why do we pray for those who have died? The reason is, is because we know that this journey in this life is a process of purification. Meaning that we don't always become purified here on earth. That to be with God for heaven, there needs to be a purity so that we will be happy with him and he'll be happy with us in one sense. And so we pray for this purification to take place. It's meant to take place upon earth and it's the easiest to do so, but when not, there's a passive purgation that happens through a certain suffering. And that's why we pray that the suffering would be relieved and that they would be taken quickly to heaven. We don't like to see people suffer. We think of different diseases and things and it breaks our heart. That's why we're so diligent about praying for those who have died because there is a suffering, probably much more intense than the suffering here on earth. And we pray that the suffering would be relieved and that through God's grace, through our efforts, that, that um, mercy would be given along with the justice that we know that is necessary. So coming to a cemetery to pray is a powerful, beautiful act. We can also offer masses for people. How do you do that? Well, you just, in a sense, contact the parish and say, I want to offer a mass for so-and-so who has died. You can also do them for the living. And then a, a particular intention at the mass that the priest prays will be offered for that person. And of course, we can just, in different prayers, rosaries and different things, we can pray for those loved ones who have died. So, I hope um, many blessings come to you in, in this time as we celebrate Memorial Day. And may we certainly remember those who have died, the gifts that they were to us, as well as unite um, our prayers that they may be taken to our Heavenly Father. I've been filming today from Holy Cross Cemetery North. It is a place where every year, if the weather cooperates, we have a Memorial Day Mass. Right here is the place where that takes place. It is indeed good to pray for those who have died. So let us say a prayer together. Heavenly Father, in this cemetery, all those who are buried here, particularly from our parish, and for all those who have died in our families, wherever they may be buried, I ask for your blessing to bring them quickly to yourself. Love them, love us, and allow them to be relieved of any sufferings and to experience the gift of eternal life with you. May you send your blessing upon all who are buried here and those loved ones. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.